How to connect sustainable design, technology, cultural wisdom, project-based learning, and social impact. Nantana Bonlaor can answer us. She has been working on several projects around Thailand and beyond. Let's get into these cultural adventures in art, tradition, and design. I'm Julie Vexel. Welcome to the Siak Talks Bangkok. Social and Cultural Innovation Labs was founded by me and then my colleagues. And uh, we love to explore about the wisdom in relation to crops and culture of the other areas around Thailand. Yes. Perfect. And then we would like to bring the students into the lab and then practice with us the research and design practice. But I think importantly, it's to bring the student to see like the locals, meet the locals and learn about the locals through uh, collaborative work with the locals. Many times and often uh, designers work for a company and sometimes they work for themselves, serving the markets, right? But if we do have a chance to do this designing cast for others, like communities or people, I think it will be a um, great mission too. Around three years ago, uh, the lab was granted the scholarship from uh, Minister of Education, right? And then the project is about exploring cultural heritage of the certain area. And then we proposed our, our projects to, to the funder and we picked Ratchaburi as their study area. And then we picked specifically the current community in Ratchaburi. And then uh, we used culture mapping as a tool to explore that cultural heritage. So we have to find what are the tangible and intangible heritage, cultural heritage in the area. So we need to talk to the people, uh, explore the um, historical site, and learn something with them in order to understand the wisdom behind that uh, current cultural wisdom. <laughs> How does uh, the interaction between students and uh, artisans happen? There are several uh, manners, um, different kinds of students interact differently with the craftsmen, right? And some, I think some of them got quite pretty kind of cultural shock, <laughs> culture shock when they have to encounter people of different ages, right? Like and young, uh, older generations, they have to interface or interact with people from different kind of background. Students have their own imagination about the Karen, a stereotypical images of the Karen. But when they really meet the actual Karen artisans, maybe they are not matched with the ima imaginations. I think mostly students learn a lot from interacting with the artisans. The, the good points that often happen is that because the students are young, artisans are pretty mature and senior, right? So they are kind of kind to the younger people. So they teach the student play, um, in a kind of good intention, with a good intention, and students learn that from artisans. I think like students or even us, we, we try to get that kind of how to, if I want to weave this, tell me how to do it. Or if I want to weave the uh, bamboo wicker, wicker stripes, tell me step by step. But I think craft is different. Mm -hmm. It's a kind of innate kind of uh, skills, right? You have to learn from observing, from making. So sometimes the interaction between the senior artisans 
uh, they they don't actually teach students step by step like the um, university teachers, right? <laughs> so they, perf they they do it, and then the students have to observe. Sometimes they have a kind of conflict and kind of unsatisfactory kind of interactions like oh why don't you do this <laughs> <laughs> like you'll learn something from your grandparents right and sometimes you argue a bit but i think because that kind of generation gaps and pe Thai people korean people they are kind to the younger so it turns out quite 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 good and sometimes students i think they teach their seniors or um, the artisans as well through their opinion expression, the kind of habits or manners or the, the dialogue with their friends. So I think the artisan learned that from the young people as well. Sometimes the artisans ask the student if they want to produce this and this and that, what do you think? I think they want to learn from the youngster opinions as well. In doing cultural mapping, we use a simple technology like drone to take a pictures and video clips of the area, right? Um, I think using drone unfold the relationship between people and then the environment. So we, I think other people like us, we heard a lot of rotational plantations, which is um, a kind of dilemma things about the current. Many people believe that the current sludge and burn the place to do rotational plantation. Like they burn a whole mountains, a whole area. But with the drone images, we see that actually it's just a tiny plot of the, the farm that they grow plants. And then they still keep the surrounding very fertile, very preserved as a, a jungle or a forest. And I think that is the simple technology like drone could help people understand the concept of rotational planning that belongs to the current. And that is also another kind of um, dilemma about using technologies. Very initial projects that I have done is to kind of reproduce the current cloth using technology like 3D printing. Mm. I, I don't expect to sell a new current cloth with the digital printed textiles. It's a kind of critical kind of piece when I show it to the locals or show it to the public. So many people comment that, oh, oh you are kind of damaging or, you know, uh, you, you will make the craftsmen lost their job because of this. But for the locals, they said, oh, it's a good idea because original current dress, you know, 100% embroidered like that, it's costly, very expensive. How could normal local current afford that. So it let us think about technologies and technological innovation like 3D printing, right? Whether it serves or it destroys the cultures. I still don't have an answer to that. <laughs> but I think um, if we can put a right proportion of technologies in, in into the craft practice or you know local craft practice uh, it might be the good the, the best way so you don't really you know apply technologies to the production 100% i think it will destroy the elements like craftsmen or wisdom or creativity of the people mm. but if you don't apply at all there will be kind of the craft for just only certain person who can afford it because I think craft is valued higher and higher maybe not for the ones who make it or the local community who own it own if you think the craft could be on but it's for the one who can afford it so I think it needs a kind of strategic thinking behind that <laughs> applying of technologies and about the essence of the year dinner the project yes yeah. Okay, so Yerderne is the second project that we have done. It's a continuous project from the first one. We use same tools, which is the cultural mapping, and we create a kind of collaborative methods to work with the locals. We just change the area. So we still in Ratchaburi and still their current community. And we focus on pre-crops, 
the silversmith crafts and the textiles craft and then the fiber crafts. But all of them belongs to the current uh, community groups. We teach them a kind of techniques and let them explore how can they, you know, apply the techniques themselves. If we look at this, this is the traditional blouse, right? Oh, I think it's okay. You have to flip it. <laughs> yeah. So Fantastic. if you look at it, the structure of the blouse is very simple. I think simplicity is the concept of the current art and design. So they weave a stripe of cloth by this. Actually, the cloth is around this wide and it's long. And then they have to join it. So this is two pieces of cloth joined in, in the middles. And then they leave the neckline here and then the arm line here. So people can just wear it. The leaf plate is uh, actually the concept of the leaf plate is the um, design output from the second project, Year Dinner, right? We explore the fiber crops of the Korean community. Uh, we have found that actually the Korean has a very strong knowledge and wisdom about the forest. There used to be a nomadic kind of ethnic groups, right? They live within the forest, they learn and then, you know, they are spend their life in the forest, actually, until things change. So they know many resources in the forest. And then we, in the, the process of doing the second project, let uh, make us uh, approach to the young people, the kids, and then we have a kind of leaf mapping camp, so students, uh, the young people of the local community, they map their community through a types of leaves that they have found. So with that kind of process, we know a lot of leaves, different kind of leaves that uh, the current community have, but we don't. So uh, after knowing the types of leaves, um, we explore how that leaves related to the culture of the Korean. And we have found that some of the leaves are used to wrap the food wrap the meals and then the current will take it to the field or to the forest. So it's like a packaging that they used back then. And then we think about how we could develop that nice concept into something. Um, and we have found that recently the community that we work with is transforming to a kind of camp stay kind of site a tourism spot right and then we would love to encourage them to go for the green tourism or ecological concern tourism directions so we propose something little like a leaf plate so if they can produce their own plate using the leaves that is not wanted anymore around them and then when people use it or tourism to tourists use it uh, they can easily manage the, the, the trash right they could just leave it or you know kind of live in the community without burning. And so it comes back to the forest as a fertilizer or whatever. Uh, what kind of technology mm -hmm. did, you, did you bring for this project? Okay. So we used like a simple uh, compression molded machine. It is a heated machine, right? You have to heat the leaves and then there is a metal mold to make a chip but it's very simple. Uh, if you look at the spectrum of this kind of machine, this is the lowest spectrum in, in the spectrum. It's a kind of hand, you know, hand, hand operations, right? But we, we have found that it's quite amazing because when we introduce it to the young people or elderly or senior people, I think the simple thing works very well. For example, this plate is, is kind of cute. Actually, when you mold the leaves into this kind of shape, you will have a kind of um, overflow kind of area, right? So you could, could just cut it into a neat kind of brim, make it like a standard plate. But the senior, one of the senior, he cut it like a zigzag line, <laughs> spent a lot of time doing this kind of cutting. So we have found that actually the leaf plate could be customized into any shape. If you use a very kind of automatic complex machine, which has got an automatic knife to cut 
the rim, you end up with something quite standard. Fantastic. Something might, that lo might look like industrial made kind of plate. So I think this kind of um, things give a um, sense of place, a sense of people, a makers, a sense of season, more than just like they're using complex machine to make a standard plates. We try to make a um, smaller project within the big umbrella of the projects, right? And then we have uh, the mem research member researchers to take care of of that smaller projects. But I think the the collaboration from the locals agency, like the how do you call that? The local officers, the kind of local leaders and community leaders are very important. I think without them, we cannot really integrate it or synchronize things nicely enough. So it would be like a scatter of project, this and this and that, right? So they help us kind of align things together yeah, and mm -hmm. integrate it kind of well. Do you create a fidelity and a constant relationship with mm. the community, isn't it? Yeah, actually, We've been to the community, the current community in Suan Pung, I think more than five years, like five or six years ago. Uh, we've been there to have a look at the basket making, a bamboo bas basket tree, right? And then we were asked to redesign a big basket for them. But I think in order to decide even like a small thing, you, you really need to understand the context, the village, the context of the village. So by doing that, we start to explore our little village, that little village, and then uh, make friends and know them, know the students' background, the weaver background, and the raw material sources, right? So people start to see us often, <laughs> right? And then we, I think we build a relationship that way. And I think KMUTT, we have a good relationship with the local schools in uh, Ratchaburi. So to the mechanism of school, we start to know the teachers, then the students in that school. Student takes us to walk around the village. So we start to know students' parents and students' parents' friends. <laughs> So it's a kind of um, connect, connect rhizomatic yeah, yeah, connection. Rhizomatic. Exactly. Uh -huh. yeah. mm. Fantastic. You are creating a social impact, mm. political, educational, mm. environmental impact. What do you expect for the mm. future? Oh, tough. <laughs> um, I, as um, outsiders, who look at the current communities and current cultures, I think there are plenty of um, valuable heritage in terms of that cultures, right? And, and I think the current people, the locals, are very talented. I think the one who is very talented is really talented. It's just that outsiders maybe not understand them yet. When we talk about the Korean, people have the um, certain image in their mind. Uh, some people might see them as the second classes of citizen, or they might mis they might confuse the Korean with the other ethnic groups. I think um, I hope that people will understand more of the Korean, and then uh, they don't judge. And I think importantly, many people sympathize without understanding. I think we need to understand first and whether you want to sympathize or not, it, it's your business, right? But I think first of all, it's to, to understand. The culture, and, the tradition, yeah. and this, this mix uh, mm. between the tradition and mm. the new knowledge. Yes, yeah? yes, and I think like the, 
young people or like the the current current Thai people, they've got that kind of tension as well. From the research, we are told that the young Korean they don't really feel proud of being the Korean, right? I I, I know it's the like a lots of political factors, social factors behind that kind of threat, but I hope that they will be more proud of their culture because. Their culture is very beautiful, I think, and then their um, sophistication within that culture. So uh, they, I hope that they will kind of more confident being their Thai Korean. For the lab, mm -hmm. uh, we always have a chance to do the project with the craftsmen or artisans. Uh, we learn the craft wisdom from them and then propose the new design that can be blended with their, their talents and craft like that. I think apart from making economic values to the old age craft, we are looking for making the change in other dimensions too. Yeah, the political change like you say, but as as our expertise is not too, too inclined to that political side and so on, that kind of things. We, we think we, we might do something in a kind of little steps, but we want to see change happen. Uh, the things that can make the minority group or underprivileged group being seen or being heard about their voice or something like that. Mm -hmm. and, but I think uh, another important thing is that designer cannot work alone. I think we, we need to work with uh, other expertise because if you want to make that kind of movement or make that change, you need other expertise to, to help you and support you. Mm -hmm. And maybe the last point is that when we work with the community, I think building trust is very important. Mm -hmm. And I think trust needs time to prove, right? So it it's never be fast. I think it it needs time. It's like you build the relationship with someone. It cannot be quick. So we try to keep working on the same community that we worked before, and we try to kind of synergize the new community with the previous community if if, if it's possible. Yeah. It creates new connections. Yeah, to create new connection. Obrigada. ว่าเจ้าดอกไม้เจ้าจงบ้านชูชอบ